More North Texas cities are spraying for mosquitoes after they tested positive for West Nile virus, but one is taking a different approach. Instead of using the spray trucks we usually see in neighborhoods, Fox News Phil Alvarado joins us to explain. And Clarissa Hurst is spraying tonight. That's one of the cities that's uh, going on the on the spray. Uh, situation, but you know, Colleyville says that they've decided to do the exact same thing. One of the problems for them is that they have found seven uh, positive tests for West Nile in mosquitoes. Now, five of them in one spot in one neighborhood, and this is a brushy area. So, uh, Colleyville says that they'll use ATVs to spray and go where the mosquitoes live. So, as early as tomorrow night, we may see them zipping in and out of those woods. That opening right there is where I'm going. At this very spot, five mosquitoes have been trapped, which have tested positive for West Nile. Five weeks in a row. I'm okay with the spraying if they're going to do it up here in the creek because we do live in this neighborhood and the mosquitoes are awful. My son gets eaten alive every time he walks outside. Yeah, I don't want to see any anything moving in there. Because of the positive mosquito test, Colleyville decided Wednesday night it will spray for mosquitoes for the first time in at least 10 years. So it does make me a little nervous. It also makes me nervous every time I spray them down with bug spray because I can't imagine that's any healthier than what they're spraying. <laughs> and he's inhaling that. This neighborhood in South Colleyville comes up to a wooded area along Little Bear Creek. It's in this brush that the mosquitoes with West Nile have been trapped. I don't want to see any anything moving in there. There's, there's zero larva in there, which is what I'm looking for. Randy Bright with the city of Colleyville has done a good job of wiping out the mosquito larva from standing water along the creek, using the larvicide dunks in an even more effective powder form. Just like that. All of the positives that we've had have been right here on Little Bear Creek. So for whatever's going on, it's, it's all right here in Little Bear Creek, and it's so dense foliage that it's just hard to treat for any adult mosquito. The mosquito spraying will be done only in the brush using all-terrain vehicles and on foot with backpacks. No spraying will be done on neighborhood streets. In order for our kids to go out and play, even in the middle of the day the mosquitoes are out now. Not everyone likes the idea of spraying, but when West Nile carrying mosquitoes are this close to home, and this has been the worst summer that I can recall for mosquitoes, just in my own backyard, and we're a couple miles from here. So um, I'm, I'm glad. I've been waiting to find out when they were going to start spraying. Now, Colleyville became especially concerned when uh, this week they found a, a fifth a positive there in that one spot. And then uh, the very same week, a second one at Brown Trail and Highway 26. Now, the seventh positive happened at uh, Sprager Park. And uh, after that first one, they treated. And so far, that's been clear. Clarice? Okay, Phil, thanks.